In this tutorial, I will introduce how to use computer programs to construct a phylogenetic tree based on morphological data. To make the tree, you first need to examine and score the morphological characteristics. At this point, I assume you have had all the data. Let's see how to make a tree. Once you have the data, you will download a spreadsheet template from Canvas, and then you will fill all the data into the template. This is the template. You will replace all the axes with your data. I will use an example to show you how to make a tree. In this example dataset, I only have six species. Only four characteristics. For margin, we have non-lobed margin and lobed margin. There are two states, and we give the score 0 and 1. For the leaf surfaces, we have three states or categories. And then for the sinuses, we have three categories too. So sinus is the indentation between the two lobes of the blade. So here is a sinus. So you can see we either don't have any sinus, or a shallow sinus, or deep sinus. In this example, the acorn size is roughly categorized into two categories, a large acorn and small acorn. Uh, feel free to have your own categories, and we use one inch as the cutoff to determine large and small acorns. After putting in all this data, the template will automatically convert that into a so-called file-up format. So this format can be recognized by the file-up program. Now let's open file-up programs. On the desktop, you should have a folder called file-up parse. In class, you should first duplicate this folder. You will work off this folder. Open this folder. You should have these five programs in the folder. And now we're going to copy our data into the parse in file txt file. When you copy the data, make sure you copy all the information, especially the two numbers at the top. These two numbers tell the program how many species and how many trees you're using to make the tree. After pasting, you often need to align the data. Make sure to use spaces rather than tabs to align the data. If you use tabs, some error will show later. Now, we're going to use a program called parse to make the tree. Open the parse, and then input parse in file txt. And then for the setting, we want to jumble the data. So you type J and then return. Then you put down some numbers as the parameters and then put Y to confirm that. If you did everything correctly, you should not see any error information here. You will see two outcome files are generated. Open out file. Based on the example data set, the program generate two trees for us. These two trees are not just any two trees. They are the two most parsimonious trees. In other words, they are the shortest trees. The length of each tree is 9 steps. Because we have 
two trees now. We will generate a consensus tree based on these two trees. Open the second program called Consensa. Make sure you close the out file now. Put out tree. Hit enter. Then the program will ask you what to do with the out file because Consensa also generate a file called out file. In this case, we will create a new file. So put F and then return. And then you are able to put a new name. Let's call that Consensa out file. And then put yes to keep all the default setting. When the program asks you what to do with our tree, do the same thing. Put F to create a new file. We will call it consensus out tree. Open consensus out file. You should see there is only one tree in the file. This is the average tree calculated based on the two tree we have. Remember, this is a unrooted tree because the out group figures is not in the correct position. If you open the consensus out tree file, you will see something looks strange, but it's just the same tree written in a different format. We're going to open this file in the last program called FigTree to rearrange our tree. Open FigTree, run the program. Open consensus out tree file. Now you see the tree. Notice the figus granifolia is not placed in the correct place as the outgroup. So we need to rearrange it. Click figures and then reroute it. And this is the correct tree. You can adjust the display of this tree to make it look nicer. Now you have your tree. The last step is to export your tree. You will export the tree into PDF file. I will save that as morphological tree for now. Congratulations. Now you know how to use computer programs to make a phylogenetic tree based on morphological data. Thanks for watching.